Good morning. I am sat in front of my window. We're going to do another speed makeup this morning. I don't know what I want to do. I've really been enjoying the colour yellow lately. So I don't know whether I want to do um, quite a neutral eye and that pop of yellow somewhere again. Or just do, I might do a blown out yellow eye and a winged liner. Put some cute little freckles on maybe. Um... Yeah, not sure. So we're going to go quite light and nice on the skin and just make it really glowy and pretty. Um, I don't want anything like too, too heavy. Everything's going to be kind of like nice and perfected looking, but I like my skin to look like skin. So let's get into it. This one is very chilled. I am editing and I'm just gonna make some lunch actually. It's 1.20 and I'm gonna make lunch at lunchtime. Who am I? Amazing. I had a green smoothie this morning, I had a load of ginger, some carrots, some celery, some cucumber, a little bit of banana, a tiny bit of protein powder, a load of spinach tiny bit of orange juice and a green apple. That's what I had for breakfast. Probably about two and a half, three hours ago. So it's still kind of late-ish, but because it's liquid, I find that I kind of get hungry not so long after if I don't put a load of protein powder. So that was kind of more like a real, mainly just fruit smoothie. So we're gonna go and sort some lunch now. <laughs> lunch and stuff I can't remember what I filmed today now I'm gonna go on a walk later so you will see a nice clip of that um I thought I would do some questions from my um Q&A I asked you guys on Instagram earlier if you had any questions for me and other than the usual talk dirty to me um you've won an iPhone <laughs> and all of that kind of stuff I've actually got some decent questions um so Someone's asked what veggie sausages do you have because they always look nice and the ones from my the ones my daughter eats never do. So um 
I either have the Linda McCartney ones, which are not always vegan. They are, I think they do do vegan ones and I'm, if they have vegan ones, I normally get the vegan ones, but if they don't, then I will sometimes just use the veggie ones. We had a lot of kind of leftover vegetarian stuff in the freezer and I'm not willing to throw things out just because I want to be plant-based. Um, so the Linda McCartney one's always really brilliant. Um, but I would say, although they do have that kind of sausagey flavour, the texture isn't the same as a real sausage. Um, I find if you pan fry them or you bake them, they're, they're really nice both ways. I also cut them up and put them into stews and things. And obviously I have them with my roast. But if you want a brand of um, sausage that really weirdly tastes like actual sausage from what I remember, including like the texture and stuff, then I would try the Naked Glory ones. Um, they do a fantastic range of surprisingly accurate mock meats and a lot of them are freezable um and yeah that's where i get my kind of like roast chicken stuff from which is really good um but yeah i highly recommend the naked glory ones but the ones you probably will have seen in my vlogs are linda mccartney so the next question i have today are how are you <laughs> i feel okay actually my mum's just bought me a cup of tea in my nice pineapple mug. I think on with my editing, I feel a little bit less flat today. I've got my new shirt on. This is from H&M. I am gonna do like an H&M haul on here for curvy girls. I hope that maybe that's something you guys wanna see. If you do wanna see me do some like fashion stuff or like loungewear things, then um, let me know down below because I haven't really done that before. And I think because I'm a different shape now, um, to be honest with you, I've been a little bit nervous to do that. I have no idea why, because I think I look fine. I think I look great, to be honest, without sounding like a complete asshole. But I know that for quite a long time, I was still getting comments going, oh my God, what's happened to you? Even your hands are fat now. So I am slightly affected by this, um, mainly because it's mean. <laughs> but also, I don't know, it like for some reason it makes me nervous uh, because of the comparison I don't know I'm there's still like a tiny part of me that this kind of like you must be tiny you must be tiny you must be tiny is ingrained into me even though I'm a very confident person and I do a lot of lingerie and I would say I am more confident with my body than ever before it's still that little bit of mm. so I feel quite I feel quite good and um I'm enjoying when you shirt this is an H&M one I will link it down below for you yeah the sun is out uh, mum's having a better day today so that has made me really happy dad's been working from home that's always just a little bit tricky because um he's at the dining room because we don't have like an office space or anything so he's at he's in the dining room we have like an open plan kitchen diner which is just making it a little bit tricky because i want to go in there and use my nutribullet for my smoothies and stuff or like it just means i can't like have youtube playing when i'm cooking and things and it's just i don't know sharing a space when people are trying to work and also other people are in the house you know there's three fully you know there's three adults in my house and yeah other than that i'm just really missing my boyfriend to be honest he's a pain in the ass sometimes and you know we have our troubles just like any normal couple does but like i really bloody miss him and he's actually really awesome and <laughs> you know like i know that i love him to bit and we have a great relationship and i know that he feels the same way about me but being away from someone when you're used to seeing them quite often i think it makes you appreciate the other person even more so i'm just feeling a little bit frustrated i mean we're this is going into week six now that we won't have seen each other for i mean let's put this in perspective guys like i am living in a house yes i'm surrounded by boxes and navigating two other adults one of whom is working full time still in the house is a little bit tricky but i have people to talk to if i want to talk to them i have an outside space you've got to put that kind of stuff in perspective when you're having a bad day I think it's really easy for you know and you see the same in, with celebrity people are people and people like to be able to do what they want but when you are in a position like myself and like I mean I guess all the other you know the celebrities with their mansions and they've got pools and stuff you know you have to put it in perspective there's always someone that's worse off than you there's probably a single parent out there that's stuck in a one bedroom flat with two small children and not an outside space and that person's going to suffer way more than me who can go and plant some nice veg in the garden shut myself in my room if I don't want to talk to anyone or go downstairs and spend time with my parents if I do fancy some company so I'm I realise 
realise that I'm in a very pri privileged position, but s some days you wake up and you still think it's a bit shit. Which is fair enough, because we're all human and, you know, we it's weird for everyone, so that's how I am. How are you guys? Please actually do comment and tell me how you are in the comments. I would really like that. How annoying. Um, my camera died. So the second question, it actually kind of cut off. So I did DM this person and we had like a nice little chat. So hello if you're watching. English apparently is their third language, which I think is absolutely incredible. <laughs> so um, you'll understand. I'm going to read it as it is, but you're, you know, you guys will understand to correct the bits that are a little bit off. Um, so they've said, how did you handle challenge of body acceptance after gaining weight and have you been able to change the internal body image of yourself because i had a similar experience and i really struggled with it i've been following you on youtube for years apart from your valuable contents i like your strength that you show in a very real way that we can all relate to that's what we need the most in this world real people and yeah maybe by being real you don't get that much followers because the human nature tends to go for the illusion most of the time still you're having real followers and you're literally influencing them to get over their struggles sorry if my english is not perfect it's my third language that is still like that's so incredible i wish you all the best and be always the gorgeous hannah we all adore first of all what a really lovely <laughs> lovely message to get and also a very interesting question i just want to start off by saying that i received a comment the other week in fact i think it was like my first vlog on here i went and checked out um this person's youtube channel and then immediately blocked it anyway and they'd just kind of left me a backhanded compliment to kind of i don't know try and upset me i guess but they said um it was really cute how much effort i put into my channel because i have so many um inactive subscribers true and it's dying <laughs> and to get something like this after having a comment like that is um the reason that i make these you guys know i have a normal job well i don't know if it's that it's not a normal job but you know what i mean i have an, a regular job i don't really earn any money from youtube i did my first sponsored video um a couple of weeks ago and that was with dna nudge i'll link all the stuff down below and put the video in the down bar for you if you haven't seen it yet i generally don't make enough to even cover my phone bill i think i might make like 20 dollars or something a month which over a year is like a nice little bonus but it's nowhere near enough for me to live on like it wouldn't even buy me one train ticket to work so i do it because i like it and i do it because i have to me it feels like a lot of people that really appreciate my videos whether that's me talking about my mental health struggles whether it's talking about my body my job how my body image has changed as i've got older i've got bigger i've gained weight i've lost weight i've done all these things and i think that is why i do it <laughs> i love beauty i love kind of the teaching aspect of doing makeup and things i like sharing my hints and tips and stuff with you guys i like sharing my experience and i think some of the things that i talk about that are a little bit more serious are real kind of really worthwhile conversations to be having and i don't do it because i want to be really popular on here if i wanted to be really popular on here i would be doing some kind of drama videos but i'm too old for that shit and i don't have patience for it i don't want to keep up with the youtube drama there are brilliant commentary channels that i enjoy watching that do a really good job and say the things that i kind of agree with but I don't need to be doing all the kind of drama and the, it's just not my style. I would rather be myself and have less of you and have the people that are really interested and have the same kind of foundations and morals and kind of same thinking as me, I guess. So that was really nice to receive. Body acceptance after gaining weight is, it's been really tricky for me. So I have been bigger than I was for, I think like two years now two years is it coming up for this is my third year i spent a little bit of time as like an in-betweeny before i went like full plus size and as i've talked about before i have to work a little bit harder to maintain a con what's considered like a plus size figure i would say by no means am i plus size and i don't consider myself to be fat either i would say especially for my height i am average um to curvy because i have a big bust i have hips i've always had like chunkier legs if you will i am like i'm five like ten and a half five eleven that's really tall for a woman you will have seen in my gardening video yesterday that i'm almost as tall as my dad so it's been interesting to deal with my 
change in body type but I feel like I am probably more confident now than I was at my tiniest. I have the opposite problem now in that I need to track my food to make sure that I kind of stay the sample size for curve which for me was a much better mental health choice to make and I think a really important one to talk about because I know that the trend on social media and in general kind of journalistic media outlets is to promote this kind of body image where you have to be either ripped or really skinny and for some people that is just not natural you can if you kind of feel like you have to conform to society's norms of beauty and their their kind of standards of beauty then it can be a really dangerous path for some people and i definitely found that as i um kind of struggled to maintain a really tiny size when i went from like a teenager to in my early 20s even though i was naturally always really slim it was just never enough and i was really lucky that i had good family and friends around me and then it was kind of suggested a, a couple of years after that maybe i should try curve so i think at first it was really difficult to switch my mind from being told I had to be a certain tiny size to finding it okay to be a little bit bigger and what I found was that I had much more of an issue with it than anyone else did so to start off with like I would hide when I was changing from my parents or like other people or whatever because I was embarrassed that I was like fat now which is ridiculous and I know that I would kind of say no to things where maybe people that I hadn't seen for a while had only seen me when I was really tiny because I was embarrassed that they would probably be thinking, oh, isn't she a model? Like she's let herself go or, oh, she's got really fat now. And now I don't feel that way at all because I have spent, you know, the best part of like 10, 12 years being told that I had to be super tiny and tinier than is normal or healthy for someone of my height either and I realised that I was feeling that way not only because it was a change you know all of my clothes didn't fit anymore and all of that kind of stuff it was just kind of undoing the, that those many years of conditioning and now I'm kind of out of those weird eating behaviours and I have the opposite problem and I'm with a you know boyfriend that's never known any different with me I, the, you know people don't compare me to the old me and if anything people think I'm much better and much happier now because I am it's been a really positive experience but I do think when you gain weight and and when you lose weight too it's something that takes a little while to adjust and you have to give yourself a break for that I would never have expected myself to go from being really really tiny you know spending a couple of years gaining weight to be the size that I am now and expect myself to be okay with that overnight it doesn't happen like that and it's a big change so it's perfectly okay to feel a certain way about it there are still times where I feel very self-conscious there are times where I still look at my body and I go oh my god I can't believe I used to look like this why don't I look like that anymore but you have to put it in perspective I am healthier now I've gone through like a complete mental breakdown I have recovered I survived an OD I have done so many great things and I'm in such a better place than I ever have been that I wouldn't change how I am now and I think the only things that bother me now really are the people on social media that compare me to how I used to be which is why I started doing comparison posts on Instagram because I think that's really important I was showing you images of like me now and me then and I would put them together and I would I would tell you actually what was happening at that time and I think it's um a really good thing for me to show you you might see someone looking a certain way and think everything is fine but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not either what I also will say is that just because I am accepting of my body which is about right for my height now there's I don't think necessarily that being skinny if you're naturally skinny is anything to be ashamed of either it's not about oh power to curvy women only now or normal bodies every everybody deserves gratitude um, and every person deserves to like their body at every stage to me being curvier and you know spouting like body positivity and body acceptance is not me saying that being morbidly obese is healthy for you and promoting that any extreme is not good but I think rather than kind of fat acceptance or that kind of stuff which I've been accused of in the past what I like to promote to people bettering yourself but still loving yourself at every stage and that is the difference I'm not saying to you that being really tiny is 
it's necessarily unhealthy if you're five foot one you you are going to be really tiny because you're sm do you see what i mean everything is kind of like a case by case basis and i still agree that people that are morbidly obese even though this you know they might do pictures saying that they're celebrating their curves and stuff like i'll still like the picture and think they look amazing and they're still beautiful but every every single person has to take responsibility for their health and i think there's a difference between body positivity which is what i like to do with body acceptance saying that you are allowed to love yourself at every stage and also um promoting that which is not what i want to do there's still like a healthy area to be in and I think that's really important. So I'm much better at accepting how I am now. Yeah, I hope that answers your question. The last one I'm gonna answer for today um, says, how old are you? I am 26 years old, but I will be 27 on the 13th of May. So I'm creeping steadily closer to 30, which is a little bit scary. So yeah, I am very nearly 27. I just thought you guys might like to see Big Gaz. <laughs> he hasn't been out yet um, today. He's so cute, I love him so much. I hope that you guys are enjoying um, seeing my lizard mum life too. And um, we spend a lot of time together and um, he's just, he's adorable. How can anyone not like them? Look at his little face. He's like, what are you doing? I was sleeping in my food bowl, mum. Yeah, he does that. I'm gonna have a little bit of a walk. My vlog for today is uploading currently. It should be done processing very shortly. Um, and then, yeah, that'll probably be it for the day, to be honest. So, just headed out for my little walk. Just needed to get out of the house. I haven't really seen anyone yet. But a little bit of, um, I'm nervous to see anyone because you never know like are they going to go to the other side of the path as well? Are they not bothered? Are you just going to pass each other really quickly? Like there's a little bit of uh, nervousness there and I haven't left the house in at least five days so we'll see. Anyway I'll show you some nature bed so my um vlog has just come up i'm just about to have a bath i need to do my 5k tomorrow i wanted to do that walk just so that i could um kind of scope out what i think would be a good route the area that i live in like i don't really i don't know any good running routes like town wise so yeah we'll see how that goes tomorrow but i wanted to kind of see how long it takes me to walk what i would normally do i might have to do like two laps of what I like to walk normally so we'll see but I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog today do let me know how you are in the comments and do actually please leave me some questions if you want me to answer anything you're curious about you can ask me anything yeah I hope you're doing okay I will see you tomorrow um do also please give the video a thumbs up and do go follow me on instagram because i ask you stuff over there and we chat in the dms and it's nice it's just a nice place lots of love to you all as always stay safe stay indoors be sensible behave yourselves and i will see you tomorrow okay bye bye